There was a malfunction upon re-entry. I repeat, we have crashed somewhere. Crew status unknown. Broadcasting my coordinates. Please hurry. Intruder detected. Begin hostile target on identified. Intruder detected.
Beverly Solomon, cryptid analyst, 10477, Snallygaster witness report. Another interesting tidbit from the locals, this time about the Snallygaster. This one's for you, Teddy. All right, so the witness overheard a loud shrieking sound and was rushed by a dark shape in the woods. It was uh, leaping at them, or maybe flying. They took shelter in an old German settler's barn and it couldn't get at them, which is what really interested me. It screamed and hollered outside all night until dawn, but they knew the seven-pointed star on the wall outside would keep them safe. Yikes. Guess I know what my next tattoo's gonna be. Beverly Solomon, cryptid analyst, 92777. Grafton Monster Witness Report. Well, this is from one of those spelunkers that roam the hills looking for abandoned mining claims. Can you imagine? Well, the classic four foot wide shoulders, headless profile, deep sonorous cry, they got a good glance at it. The witness didn't know what it was, but the description is very clear. It came out when she started playing mouth harp, apparently. <laughs> I'm gonna go out to look. Maybe that sound is. Beverly Solomon, cryptid analyst, 102577. Wendigo witness report. Ooh, this is a spooky tale. Okay, so this is my own personal sighting. I was up at the ski lodge this past week, enjoying some well-deserved R&R. I guess I can never really be off the clock, though, because I happened to see something hunched on the slopes ahead of me. I thought it was some old coat, you know? I was moving pretty fast, so I was just trying to avoid it. Anyhow, it just unfurled as I get close. Must have been ten feet tall, but just all skin and bones like a dead dog. It had a deer's skull cracked open in its hand from the fresh kill it was eating. A 
As I go by, I get this powerful cold feeling through my bones. I thought to myself, you know, Bev, you really lucked out getting that tattoo before coming out here on the street. I can't imagine what kind of things I'm gonna see next. <laughs> Welcome back, novice. In mastering the tools and techniques of the Mistress, you have earned the rank of Seeker. Your training is almost complete. To become a full member of the Order, a Mistress of Mystery, you must complete a mission worthy of the Mistress herself. Continue to hone your skills. When the time comes, Eve will assign you a Mistress rank mission from the Mission Board. This will be your final test. When you return, your sisters and I will be proud to welcome you into our ranks. This mission is open for volunteers. It may well be a suicide mission, but at this point, I don't know what else to do. There have been three ambushes in the past week. Three more of our sisters killed. The raiders seem to know our every move. We need someone to infiltrate the raider stronghold at Pleasant Valley. Find out how they know about us and our plans. Do whatever you have to do to stop them. And get out alive, if you can. If you make it back, report to me in my office for a full debrief. This may be the most difficult mission I've ever posted, but it's also the most important. The future of the Order of Mysteries depends on your success. Good luck. Ever since the bombs dropped, 
The former guests at the ski resort have lost their minds. If being a member of the honorary Mock Naval Yachting Society has taught me one thing, it's that preparation is the key to survival. The idiots here have locked up their belongings and split up the access key, stashing away valuable items we could be using for barter. Every decision being made is foolish. Instead of using this facility as a headquarters and sending out hunting parties to look for scraps, we need to find a new base of operations. We should band together in larger groups and take anything we find along the way. They're convinced the government is going to rescue them, but the, the truth of the matter is, we're on our own. The only people that can help us now are ourselves. Hello, Mother. Olivia? Why? Wake up. Look around you, Mother. This isn't one of your comic book fantasies. You're no hero. You're just a sad old woman who couldn't face the world. And you... You dragged all of us into your... delusion. How many people have we killed? Hundreds? For what? Nothing changes. There will always be more raiders. Because they're right. There are no heroes. This is a world of villains. The strong.
strong survive. They rule. And mother? I am the strongest. You made me the strongest. I'm done living in the shadows. I'm done playing my part in your little farce. I've made my choice. It's time I took my place in the real world. You're worse than the raiders ever were. And far, far more dangerous. I'm sorry, Olivia. You've left me no choice. Congratulations, mistress. You're listening to this. If you're listening to this, you are now a full member of our order, a mistress of mystery. Congratulations, dear. Since I'm not telling you this in person, I suppose it also means that I have passed. As I record this, I'm in my 60s. No one lasts forever especially given what we do. For most of my life, I was an actress. I never would have imagined any of this. But after the war, there were so many orphaned girls. They needed a home. They needed something to aspire to. They needed hope. All I had to offer them was a comic book hero. But maybe that was enough. I'm sure Eve or Olivia or whoever follows them as headmistress has trained you well. You have her and your mentor and your sisters to lean on. And whatever happens to this world, you have the skills to face it. Do your best, dear. I know you will. <laughs> <laughs> 